Hope you love unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this tutorial. I hope it's gonna be really quick. If it's not, just look. How long is it? It's like if it's like 20 minutes, just grab a cup of coffee or something, but I think it's gonna be short and sweet. Let's pray it is. Anyways, I'm gonna do a tutorial of this look right here. Shocker, like Captain Obvious in the building. And a while ago I did a swatch haul of this palette and some others from Coastal Sense and I asked you which one uh, of these colors you'd like me to do a tutorial on and you voted because I I do try to keep some polls or votes up in my corner, not in this video but in some others. So if I do mention a poll or something like that in my videos, it's usually because there's a poll up here. And you voted for mint. So I am doing something minty. Well, obviously I did something minty. What's wrong with me? And that's what I'm doing. Thank you so much for being a part of the polls. I do really enjoy having you cast your vote on what you want to see on my channel because, I mean, 50% of me is doing these things because I enjoy doing videos and that 50% of me don't really care what other people think about it, but the other 50% is like, so what do you want to see? So it's, it's a mix, it's a mix. And this is a video of me showing something I like with the colors you chose. So with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so this is the palette we're working from. If you didn't see the video, you remember I have it up here. And we're gonna work with these minty shades right here. I think I'm gonna incorporate a bit of this as well for depth, so to speak. Uh, I'm gonna start with this one. Let, let's just get this out of here so we can see which color it is. So we are starting off with Sea Lily. Normally I don't prime my eyelids, I just use some concealer and powder and that's it. But today I actually did use an eye primer just to make sure that these pastel-y bright colors actually show up the way I want them to. Normally I don't have a problem with that, but today I just want to make sure. So we're starting off with Sea Lily in the crease and then I'm gonna deepen it up and then we'll go with something shimmery. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that on the other eye as well. I'm gonna deepen this up a bit with this more tealy color that is called teal green, very soothing. And I'm gonna put that in my outer V to deepen this up a bit before going in with some shimmers. Hmm. I have two like metallic mints in this palette and it is a sure frost and it is minty fizz i think i'm gonna use minty fizz on the upper part of my lid and my inner corners and then i'm gonna go in with the sure frost on my lower lash line and then i'm gonna take a bit of this teal gray just out here to deepen it up that's the plan at least i think i'm gonna use some fix plus just to make sure that this is totally opaque because i think i'm gonna paint a bit over my natural crease line so to speak uh, that is a good way to use uh, colors if you want to make your eyes look bigger. Just paint the lighter color above your crease. It's going to make your eyes look a lot bigger. This is also a tip. Like if you like doing cut creases or have cut creases and you think the concealer trick is even too much of a hassle, if you just do some setting spray or something liquidy with a opaque eyeshadow, you will be able to paint that on and cover whatever's underneath so you can have a half cut crease in just one step. That makes it a whole lot easier, you can just skip all the other things and just paint it on directly and it's just it's done. Now that that is done, we're taking the Assure Frost, which is the slightly darker shimmer. And I'm gonna put that under my eyes and just leave it a little bit empty here so I can have a bit of that dark teal there. And now with that darker teal, we're just adding a little bit of darkness in the outer part here to frame the eye a bit. Like that, and to get rid of any fallout that we might have gotten, just brushing that off. I'm gonna do some liner because I think a black liner with this would be good. If you think that something is too colorful or too bright or too much, black will always ground it. Do a liner, do some lashes, use mascara or falsies or whatever, but something black will frame it, will tone it down 
will make it look less crazy and more put together. So that, that's, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the eye makeup is done. I used the Iconic Lights by House of Lashes and I used the Mint, Mint, Mint Cream by NYX. I will leave all the details for what I used down below. I always do that. I'm also going to top this off with lipstick. I'm using the Rani Cosmetics in Tattoo uh, because I am filming a video about Rani Cosmetics after this. So what better way than uh, to have her lippy on. I do love this color a lot. Like I said, this is tattoo. It's like a peachy orangey warm nude with some amazingly gorgeous pink shimmer and glitter in it. So pretty. I have mentioned this as a favorite in a past video, so oops, that will come as no surprise to you. And that was it. That's the final look with me using some hot pots from Coastal Sense. I know you keep asking me to use more hot pots, but as you know, I only publish two videos a week and it's really hard to get the time to show you everything I like because there is a lot. I love a lot of things and I try to not show you things on my channel that I don't like. Sometimes I receive things in PR that I don't show you because I don't enjoy them as much. And if you'd like to see some things that I don't enjoy, like would you like to see another a uh, full face of makeup I don't really like. Let me know down below, you know, I'm always open for suggestions and feedback, of course. If it's uh, in somewhat a positive spirit, people saying that I suck or talk too much, just exit the channel, there is an X somewhere up here, you don't have to be here. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't watch. That is actually like the best thing that Manny Amie has ever said. Like, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. Don't waste your time watching things you don't like. Life is short. So with that being said, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you do like what I do on my channel because I do upload at least two videos a week. And I will see you in my next one, which will be really soon. And now I have to go and film two more. Wish me luck. Bye!